Everyone thinks the U.S. is leading the AI race. But behind the scenes, China is moving faster, training smarter models, and putting AI into everything from cities to missiles. This isn't just about tech. It's about who runs the world. In this video, we're breaking down the truth behind the U.S.-China AI race. From secret hardware smuggling to military-grade automation, we'll look at the moves reshaping the global power map. Because this goes beyond building smarter machines. It's about who gets to program the future. The research war has already started. The AI race begins where most people never look, not in headlines or product launches, but inside research labs and patent filings. And right now, China is quietly building a serious lead. In 2024, China produced 42% of all AI research papers, the highest share on Earth. Chinese researchers are rising in global influence, especially in robotics, machine translation, and pattern recognition. And their work? It's getting cited everywhere. What makes this different is how it is organized. China has made AI a national priority. Through long-term strategies like the Next Generation AI Plan, the government has linked researchers, universities, and companies under a single mission. They are not competing with each other. They are working together. In the United States, AI breakthroughs dominate headlines. OpenAI, MIT, and Google push boundaries, but they're mostly working separately without a unified national strategy. Now consider this. In 2024, China filed over 29,000 patents related to AI. The United States filed fewer than 18,000. That's not a statistic. That's a message. China is not just building ideas. It is locking them in for the long game. The world is watching the AI race unfold on the surface. But if you look underneath, the foundation is already shifting. So here's a question. If you had to bet on one country to dominate AI research in the next five years, who would you pick? China or the US? Drop your take in the comments. Which side would you bet on? What's really powering the AI race? If research is the brain of artificial intelligence, then hardware is its backbone. And in this part of the race, things get complicated fast. Right now, the United States has the upper hand when it comes to high-end AI chips. NVIDIA's GPUs are the gold standard. They power everything from chat GPT to autonomous weapon simulations. The company's A100H100 chips are among the most advanced processors for training large-scale AI models. And nearly all of them come from US-led supply chains. But China is working overtime to close that gap. After the US tightened chip export rules in 2022, some Chinese companies resorted to flying hard drives and components across borders just to keep their AI projects alive. Despite these restrictions, China is adapting. Tech giants like Huawei are developing homegrown chips to reduce dependence on Western hardware. The pace is slower, and the chips are not yet as powerful, but they are getting closer, and the stakes are massive. Without access to cutting-edge chips, training frontier AI models becomes nearly impossible. This is not just about economics. This is about national security, surveillance, and strategic autonomy. According to Axios, China's domestic chip production rose by 30% last year alone. It is not enough to break free from Western tech dominance just yet, but the trend is clear. It's more than a chip shortage. It's a slow but deliberate shift in global power, unfolding one processor at a time. And every chip China produces brings it one step closer to breaking America's lead. This is the AI you actually live with AI, is no longer just a lab experiment. It is already out in the wild and no country is deploying it at scale quite like China. In Chinese cities, artificial intelligence is embedded into daily life. Facial recognition cameras line the streets, subway stations, and even school entrances. Entire surveillance systems monitor citizens in real time. They track movement, analyze body language, and in some cases, even assign behavior scores. This is not a futuristic concept. It is already active in over 500 cities. China now holds more than half of all surveillance cameras in the world. Many of them run on machine learning models that detect faces, track emotions, and monitor gestures. Programs like Skynet and Sharp Eyes are not just testing features. They are already being used to enforce traffic rules, monitor protests, and flag suspicious activity with no human input. In the United States, the picture looks very different. AI is definitely present in daily life, 
from law enforcement to marketing to smart homes. But adoption is slower. Privacy laws and public resistance have created real limits. Many Americans do not trust the idea of being watched by machines. In China, that debate rarely reaches the surface. But here is the bigger picture. While China is leading in physical surveillance and population-scale deployment, the United States still dominates in personal AI experiences. From recommendation engines to digital assistants to language models, American platforms are built to serve the individual. China's platforms are built to watch over society. One country personalizes, the other controls. Two different systems, two different outcomes, and two very different futures. The most dangerous part of the AI race. For all the talk of research labs and surveillance cameras, the most dangerous frontier in the AI race is the one no one wants to talk about. War. Both the United States and China are pouring billions into militarizing artificial intelligence. Not just for battlefield logistics, but for decision-making, target tracking, and autonomous weapons. The race is no longer about who builds the smartest AI. It is about who builds the one that wins wars. In the U.S., the Department of Defense is developing AI programs capable of simulating battlefield scenarios, analyzing satellite data, and coordinating unmanned systems across land, air, and sea. The Pentagon's Joint Artificial Intelligence Center, or JAIC, is working with defense contractors to integrate AI into every branch of the military. China is taking a different approach. Its military AI development is closely tied to civilian infrastructure and private companies. China's military civil fusion strategy means advances made by companies like Baidu and Huawei often end up benefiting the People's Liberation Army. In other words, the line between commercial tech and state power is thinner than ever. Quick question for you. Would you be comfortable with an AI system deciding whether to launch a missile? Let me know in the comments. I want to know where you draw the line. Then there is the issue of autonomy. The U.S. maintains that humans will always be in the loop when making lethal decisions. China does not make that guarantee. In a future where machines can analyze targets faster than humans can blink, the side willing to trust its AI may move first and win. According to reports, China has already tested AI-assisted missile targeting systems and autonomous drone swarms. The U.S. is not far behind, but neither side is showing their full hand. This isn't sci-fi anymore. It is a cold, calculated arms race where lines of code could trigger real-world conflict. What happens when the world picks a side? With every new breakthrough, the question becomes harder to avoid. What should AI be allowed to do, and who gets to decide? In the United States, that conversation is loud, layered, and often public. Lawmakers argue, researchers publish warnings, industry leaders form safety teams and task forces. There are hearings, panels, and policy debates that stretch across months. Some see that as transparency, others see it as delay. China takes a different path. Its approach is fast, centralized, and quiet. Guidelines exist, but few outside the system know how they are enforced. The rules are set from the top, and decisions ripple outward with speed and certainty. What it gains in efficiency, it loses in openness. And now the rest of the world is watching. Nations in Africa, Southeast Asia, and Latin America are facing a growing choice. Should they align with the slower, open model of the West or adopt the streamlined, state-driven framework coming out of Beijing? That decision will shape everything from data rights to free speech to who has access to advanced AI tools. Because this is not just a race to build artificial intelligence, it is a race to define what it will mean for everyone else. Whoever wins won't just shape the tech. They'll define the values the rest of the world ends up living by. We've seen how this AI rivalry touches every layer of power. Research output, chip access, civil surveillance, even autonomous weapons. This isn't just about innovation. It's about control. It's about whose vision becomes reality. If this changed how you see things, hit like. And if you want more stories like this, make sure you're subscribed. And let me know in the comments, where do you think this is all heading and who is really leading the way?